Okay, so the first thing you want to be doing is setting up a project. And you want to go over here to the top left-hand side and start with a new project, like I showed in the earlier video. And I'm just going to spend a little bit more time now going through what each field is. And it should be pretty straightforward, but there are a few, you know, like the Vault PBN and so on. And just to clarify for those of you who, who just don't have a clue what I'm talking about, and I'm sure there are a few. Okay, so the project name is this, right? So all Morrison 58, Albi Carney 05, that's the name, the identifier for you. Then the profile name, it gives you a way to identify different profiles. So not tiers, but profiles. So the way you do that is you come here and you could add tier or add profile. If you add a tier, you're gonna basically get this here. Where's that demo here? You're gonna get this. This is a tier, a project after another project within another project. That's a tier, okay? If you're going to open up a profile, another profile on this, that is gonna open up this information here and all you do is change the profile name to whatever you want to change it, edit the password, edit the email, edit the passwords, whatever you're going to want to edit for this particular profile. So you, you might have um, a bunch of accounts with different usernames and passwords that you'd like to import. And if that's the case, then you just have different profiles for the different websites, right? So, you know, over here, you would have add profile, and then you can just say, this is your wordpress.com site, wp.com, and then you come down here and you can change the usernames and passwords and so on, and I'm gonna save the profile. And now, when you open it, when you go to open it, say view profile data, it's gonna ask you which profiles you wanna see. And the more profiles you have, obviously, the longer that'll be. So if you wanna see this one, now we can see that, now I'm just gonna delete that. We don't need that profile, it's a fake profile. And then you just delete it, and then that will no longer come up when you go, and it'll just go straight to the main profile. Okay. So what we're doing here, we're just, we're just, we're just using this as our persona. Okay. So the project name is this. The profile name is the profile that, if you have more, if you have, if you're, like I said, if you're importing profiles and you, you've got different usernames and passwords, so you create different profiles and you just edit out the relevant information that you want and save it. Okay. The IP address is always going to be the same for the profiles within the projects that will, because it's the same, you're in the same project. You've just got different profiles and this will appear and this will be your IP, just like this is here is the IP address. So that's the IP address. And um, first name, username, you know, standard stuff, all the stuff that you would normally get asked filling out a site. Some are going to need all of them. Some will need a few of the information, a bit of the information. And you don't have to fill out all of this information. You can just fill out the project name and you're good to go. But that's not really going to have much use to you. So, you know, you're going to need project name, username, password, email at least, right? If you're just doing a quick profile for whatever, you don't want to be too, you know, finickety on the details. You just want to get a project with an IP just to do whatever. Then you can just add the project name um, and then just, you know, whatever you want to, whatever you're going to need to log in, username, email, password, right? And then when you come down here, um, this connects to the PBN poster, right? So you've got a Vault PBN and Money Site PBN. Um, so this would put it, this basically puts it into a Vault. If you click on this, it puts, puts it into a Vault, right? So we've got Vault PBN and really this should say Money Site PBN or Vault Money Site, uh, Money Site Vault, right? And then that then correlates to the information in here, right? Well, which I can't show right now because this is up and we'll get to that in another module, right? But when you're filling out and you're adding a website that you want to use and post to, you have to come and put the address here it will take the username, email, and passwords that you've got here. So whatever your username and email is, um, so that, that correlates to the profile that has this page, you just put there. And then you click whether or not it's a PBN site or a money site. And then you just save it. And then that saves all of the information so that when you come back and click on it and you open up a project like this, 
you have all of the information. So what we have here is this project. You can right click here to do um, to get the information here, the project information. But I suggest using this button here because like that, you know, because if you've got 10 projects open or even if you don't and, you know, you could be clicked on another project and it gets confusing. So you might actually open up the wrong one and put the wrong username. So always use the CP button here, which stands for copy paste window. It's very simple. Not all of the form fillers are going to work. So you just come here and use the copy paste. And I'm going to use get, go into that in a little bit more detail later. But right now we're just showing you what all of the information, the first thing you need to do, right? So this is the first step. you starting a new project and all of this information works to be the information that you're going to use across all of your domains, all of your sites, you know, so email addresses, social sites, and so on and so forth. That's how, that's what this information is going to be used for, logging in and signing up. And you're basically creating a whole persona here, a brand new persona that's connected to an IP address, port, username, and password. Okay, um, and that's it for this video. Uh, next video, we're going to go into a little bit more detail um, on, let's have a look at the list we've got here. We're going to be organizing the projects, and I don't want to spend too much time on each video. I want to keep them as short as possible. Oops, and we've already done six minutes exactly again. All right, guys, see you in the next video.